Here is how to properly use Benjamin in BTD6. To start, he is different than every other hero in that his main purpose is to make money. He does provide some utility outside of this, so we'll still cover some chimps tips if you're feeling meme but for the most part, we'll be focusing on the other game modes, which is where he really shines. We'll start with everything he brings to the table. At level 1, Ben makes $100 at the end of every round, and this only increases with levels. So you'll want to place him down early, as even without monkey knowledge, he pays himself off in 9 rounds or less. Short Shortly after this, he gains two more ways of making money. The first is a passive ability called skimming, where he makes $1 for every bloon that comes on screen. This is a nice bonus, as from rounds 20 to 39, skimming will make you over $1,200. The second way is his bank hack, which makes all banks on screen generate 5% more cash per round. This makes them fill up faster as it compounds with their end of round interest. Banks already make a ton of money, and now they'll make even more. Aside from printing cash, Ben has several useful abilities for making rounds easier. The first is his level 3 biohack. When activated, the four closest monkeys pop an extra layer per attack for 6 seconds, but they also can't attack for the 2 seconds after this ends, so be careful. It's usually worth the trade-off, but you can put yourself in a pickle if you mess it up, especially if you biohack a tower with an ability as it won't work during the downtime. Overall, biohack is super nice for early rounds when you need cheap monkeys like a sub or dart to handle tough rounds, or for big rushes later on like rounds 63 and 64. At level 6, Ben will start regenerating lives for you at the end of each round. While in most games you normally don't leak, it's common to lose a few lives early on while saving up for Ben. This is fine as the extra money he makes from getting him down early is well worth it and this passive will bring you back up to full health in no time. Then at level 7, Ben will start throwing out balloon trojans. These home towards the closest target and cause affected balloons to spawn no children when popped and award extra money for that outside layer. Trojan balloons generate two $2 base and one additional dollar for each layer skip. So a Trojan pink balloon will reward $6 as it gets the base 2 bucks plus $4 from skipping the yellow, green, blue, and red layers beneath it. To make things fair, Trojan can't affect anything bigger than mobs at this level and it'll never target balloons weaker than pinks. Now, this often makes you lose money, so if you're on an easy map where you don't need the help of the Trojan, you can always put Ben behind an obstacle as he needs line of sight on balloons to throw these out. This way, you can still benefit benefit from his extra income and biohack without losing money on Trojan. But there's two things to cover here. The first is that Trojan doesn't always lose you money, as pops give you less and less money as the rounds go on, and Trojan earns more money at level 16. So on screen is a list of when certain balloons become profitable from Trojan. The second is that in game modes that allow you to farm, you can easily make more money with Benjamin than you'll lose to Trojan. So if you're like me, just take the easier early game as Trojan counters round 40 and farm enough to where you don't notice this slight loss of money from Pops. Moving on, Ben learns the Siphon Funding ability at level 10. This downgrades all incoming balloons by one layer, and downgraded balloons give double cash when popped. This does not affect DDTs until he's level 18, and it never affects bads or bosses. There are tons of times that this can make rounds super easy, but the ones that I use every time are rounds 63, 76, and 78. Aside from those, rounds 96 and 98 can be made much easier as every blimp will be made one layer smaller. Just be ready for for rounds 99 and 100 if you use siphon funding here. Now, the use of Ben changes depending on the game mode, so let's go through each of them. On standard game modes like easy and medium, you really don't have much to worry about. Just get a casual monkey or two, then work towards placing Ben. You can use his extra money to purchase more farms and snowball to the end, but these game modes are so short that you win before the farms start to take over. Is it still fun to get a ton of them down before round 60? Yes. But let's be honest, it's more fun if you're going to rounds 80 or 100. So you might as well just get him down and laugh at how easy his Bloon Trojan makes round 40 and his passive extra income makes round 60. As for half cash and a pop lips, I like to get him down as fast as possible. His end of round cash and skimming ability make these modes much more manageable. So even if it means I leak a bunch of lives, I get him down with as little money spent on defenses as possible. This can be brutal, but if you manage to get him down, his biohack ability is usually enough for your current defenses to last a few more rounds, and his money-making skills will let you place more monkeys shortly thereafter. This isn't where his usefulness ends though. Round 40 is tough to say the least on half cash, but Bloon Trojan makes this a thing of the past, letting you wait a few more rounds before having to worry about mob popping power. Not to mention that most of the tough rounds later on can be countered with siphon funding. Apocalypse is even more hands off as Ben usually won't hit level 10 in time to unlock siphon funding. So just let Ben's Trojan run wild and count 
encounter any of those mobs that'll be coming in the 50s. And if you find yourself in the middle of some easy rounds, just use Ben's extra cash to plop down a farm or two and turn this apocalypse run into an easy one. On to hard and impoppable. This is where things get fun. We finally have the time we need to truly farm, and there aren't any special rounds or restrictions to make things hard on us. Obviously, we'll get him down early, but where do we go from here? Well, this is where I like to break out the monkey banks. They make the most per round of any tier 3 farm, and it feels good to use Ben's bank hack. You don't need to be in a rush to make these, as we'll have plenty of time to make money. What I normally do is get Ben down early, pop the round 40 mob, and then place down a farm or two. This will let us upgrade both of them to banks in the mid 40s which will give us a massive cash injection about eight rounds later from here you can continue like a normal game but with way more money than usual or you can reinvest some of this money and place down more banks so after you place down more banks make sure that you won't lose to a tough round like 63 the downfall to every good farmer is greed so try to spend some of your money on defenses this will make the mid game easy as well as set you up for way too many tier fives at the end then once there are only a few rounds left I like to sell my banks for even more money. Completely unnecessary, but it's pretty fun to get down three or more tier five monkeys just to pop the bad. Shifting gears, we have boss events. While not as good as Geraldo for late game paragons, Benjamin makes boss farming easy and hands off for the most part. In these events, it's super important to get him down as fast as possible. None of this getting defenses before him nonsense, as this will slow down the exponential growth of banana farms. Unfortunately, there aren't too many special tricks to do with Ben in bosses though just get him down early and he'll accelerate your farm quite a bit we'll use his biohack to deal with tough rounds like 15 with barely any defenses and spend most of our money farming i would dive into the exact order but the farming meta will change with time currently the place to get a round 31 monkey opus and surround it with marketplaces but all it takes is one nerf or buff to change this strat completely if you want to find out what the current meta is i'd look up boss event guides and pay attention to how they're farming on to ben's true purpose co-op we're all player threes at heart and ben lets us do that the best gone are the ways of splitting the money four ways because you get to keep his end of round cash does this make up all the pop income that you're still splitting no but he will help you place a few farms down which will completely overtake whatever money you'd normally make just remember you could help out now and place defenses or you could reinvest into even more farms so you can help out more later the choice is yours and finally we have chimps this is the one game mode where i don't rush him at all instead i get him whenever i have a spare thousand dollars as i really only need him to hit level 10 by round 98. on top of this i do make sure to put him behind an obstacle because this and deflation are the only times that we can't out farm the money that will lose to bloom trojan if possible i get him in a spot where he'll trojan balloons that get pretty far into the map but he won't help at all if we're destroying the round from here i just use biohack anytime we need a boost in damage and i only use siphon funding on round 98. this makes the round much much easier and because the game is almost over i feel the loss of money much less that being said you better have enough defenses for rounds 99 and 100 because all you're getting from ben is a biohack from here on out but that is how to properly use benjamin in btd6